This video is the second of the two-part video on the capture service that is included in the free trial of OpenText Information Management Services. In the first segment, we showed you how to access the Capture Web application. In this segment, we will show you how to use the Core Capture Designer. You can download the designer from the Capture Web application by clicking on the gear icon in the top right corner and selecting Download Core Capture Designer. When you start the Core Capture Designer, you will be required to enter information about your Capture subscription on the login screen. In order to determine the URL and the site name, you will need to go to the Capture subscription in the Admin Center. The link near the top that says Link to App is the link to the Core Capture web application. Next to the link is an icon to copy the URL for the web application. Use this option to copy the URL and then paste it in a text editor. The part of the URL up to slash capture is the URL that you will need to put in the designer login screen. Make sure to add the HTTPS at the beginning of the URL. The site name is the value of the subscription name minus the hyphen CAP. Enter this information in the designer login screen. The email address and password are your tenant user email address and password. When you click the connect or the refresh button next to the subscription name field, if the authentication is successful, the login screen will return with the subscription name. Click connect again to complete the login. In the Core Capture Designer, we will create three things, a document type, a recognition project, and a capture profile. We will use a medical lab report as our sample document. We will start by creating a recognition project. Select Recognition from the left-hand side navigation menu. Next, double-click on Information Extract. Here, click on Add Profile. For Profile ID, you can enter IE Lab Report or any other name that you prefer. You will now need to specify all the data fields that you intend to capture from the lab report. For each field, you will specify a data type. One of the data types is table. When you choose table as a data type, you will need to specify the columns and their respective data types. Hit save once you've specified all the fields. We will now go to document types using the left-hand side navigation menu. Here you will see the recognition project you just created appear in the list of document types. Go ahead and double click your document type. You will notice that all the fields you created earlier appear here with additional properties. These properties determine how these fields behave in the Capture Web application. Review the properties for all the fields and make the desired changes. Once you've completed your changes, click on the Save button in the top right corner of the screen. The next step is to create a Capture Profile. Click on Distributed Capture from the left-hand side navigation menu. If you named your recognition project with a prefix of IE, it will automatically get added to the capture profile called Sample Information Extraction Demo. However, if you wish to create a new capture profile, click on the New button at the bottom of the screen. Enter the name of your new capture profile and click Save. On the following screen, review all the fields and make the desired changes. At a minimum, update the following fields. Enter a name for Batch Name Schema. Select the checkboxes for Classify Pages and Extract Content. For the field Use Auto Learning With, select both. For Recognition Project field, select Information Extraction. In the Allowed Document Types and Default Document Type fields, enter the name of your document type. Once you've made the changes, click on the Save button in the top right corner of the screen. Finally, it's time to upload all the changes to the server and into your Capture subscription. Click on the System option from the left-hand side navigation menu and then select Publish to Development from the top menu. On this screen, select your document type, the Information Extraction Recognition Project, and your Capture Profile. Click on the Publish button at the bottom of the screen. Once the upload is complete, re-log into the Capture Web application to check out your work. You will be able to see your Capture Profile tile on the main screen. After you click on the Capture Profile, you can upload a sample document. On the following screen, select Organize to further organize and classify the documents. If the system did not auto-classify the document, you can select the document type from the drop-down. Click on Next to continue. 
Select Review Documents to look at the information extracted by the Capture Service. Since this is a new document type, you will have to show the AI where to capture the data from for each of the fields. Once you've verified all the fields, click Next. On the following screen, click Submit to complete the information extraction. This will generate an XML file containing all the data that was extracted from the document. On the next screen, click on Download to download the XML. Here is a view of the XML file with the extracted information. Once the download is complete, you can click Done to return to the main screen. We hope this video helped you understand how to use the Core Capture Designer and upload your new document types to the OpenText Cloud platform. Thank you for watching this video.